welcome everyone in last session we discussed som in detail in theory as well as we saw in live system of how som fury apps look like and what are the features are inside subscription order and subscription contract in today's session let's take a look on the second component which is sap conversion charging also known as sap cc sap conversion charging is designed to deliver pricing flexibility when charging customers in sap cc a charge is a price generated from rating and charging event that is charged to the customer in other words sap cc is a calculation engine tool used to determine the type of charges such as recurring on time usage based and usage based charges as part of brim solution cc comes with intuitive graphic user interface which allows for visual programming this in turn virtually eliminates functional and technical limitations to develop pricing offers and revenue sharing plans for different types of services there are two major components in sap cc charging and rating charging is how cc determines which exact customer account will be charged on the other hand rating focuses on the calculation mechanism that derives the total amount to be charged in the billing document cc provides simplified management of prices using cockpit or existing apis it enables innovation with different kinds of pricing and bundling scenarios it enables rapid go to market product launches enabling customers to launch cross promotional offers or new services in a rapid configurable manner it supports different payment strategies meaning it can handle both prepaid and postpaid kind of business models or even hybrid business models the cost reducing inefficiencies by enabling all kinds of different payment models is a useful feature postpaid and prepaid can be configured in a single platform similarly recurring one time and usage based charges all of them can be configured in a single platform and we don't need different systems for different kinds of business models it provides ease of scaling and very low latency and provides high availability and high throughput which is required for high volume business and real time businesses like telecom now i hope we have understood a uh, basic theory on sap cc so just like so let's take a look on live system of how cc looks like this is how sap cc looks like it has these options actions tools windows catalog etc as explained before that sap cc is not created from sap instead it is a java based interface which gets connected to sap using web services so a typical data flows from sap som to ci from ci to cc back to ci as billable items and then those billable items will get built and invoice and then the ledger account details will be posted in fika so let's take a look on different features in cc typically as per my understanding what i have seen in the different projects i have implemented you cannot change the font size of in sap cc so for that reason i usually have i rely on magnification feature so that we don't strain our eyes so yeah let's get back to it now here we can see 
that here we have different options we have activation recurring usage and calc and cancellation let's take a look on activation this is how activation looks like and we can see that in the charging plan the customer has uh, been found and in the price plan we can see that the activation fees has been fixed as 50 now let's check recurring now if we see in recurring again we have a monthly charge and a recurring fees of 200 so with the, what does this mean that whenever a service gets activated for the first time 50 dollar will be incurred to the customer and then after that every month 200 now let's check the usage In usage we can see that the calculation is little bit more complex compared to our uh, activation and recurring model and that is the reason why CC is preferred because you don't have to do any kind of calc ABAP coding everything is visually mm, present for example we can see that there are arithmetic computations done and other for example let's take a look on this this is normal amount and let's see how it is getting calculated the normal amount which as per my understanding is the per unit amount it is getting multiplied with the second operand which is sit quantity that is the quantity of uh, data for example let's take 1 MB cost 1 rupees so this sit quantity is if for example let's take 100 MB so the final computed property uh, computed final amount would be 100 MB into 1 rupee per MB that would make 100 rupees and then we have the rounding and scale so basically with this what happens is it becomes extremely easy for even a non-technical person to uh, not only understand the structure not only the normal amount but uh, not only the technical uh, not only understanding the existing scenarios but also develop the entire scenarios by themselves this is um, very beneficial as we know that sometimes we have to rely on our technical consultants a lot to understand the complex pricing models which we create in pricing procedure so these are one of the key benefits of having SAP CC now we have understood the typical scenarios um, typical use cases on SAP CC but one thing I would like to point out is that uh, just now as we have seen that in SAP CC we have all the three activation recurring and usage this was design uh, this was the norm in pre 1909 release but now sap with the latest version uh, sap has provided uh, different options like if you want you don't need to have um, sap cc for activation and recurring models those can be directly handled using our standard pricing procedures only in case of usage scenario where we would be needing consumption data there SAP CC is mandatory 
you can still use SAP CC for activation written recurring but you also have an option of not using it and this again shows the flexibility of prem that if we have a business case in which we know that we do not need usage then we can skip SAP CC altogether a typical example I would say could be Netflix as we know that Netflix doesn't charge based on how many hours we consume it directly charges based on uh, the monthly subscription type that we have chosen it could it locks us on different devices or number of devices but that doesn't track the amount of data consumption that we use so in that case we can sk simply skip out SAP CC altogether and that it provides the flexibility to um, company of not uh, creating the entire structure for every case now in next session we will take a look on SAP convergent invoicing thank you